Hello, Dan Edelkowski here from howtomechatronics.com. In this tutorial, we will learn how to connect a liquid crystal display or LCD to the Arduino board. LCDs like this are very popular and broadly used in electronic projects as they are good for displaying information like uh, sensors data from your project and also they are very cheap. We can start this tutorial with the pinout of the LCD. It has 16 pins and the first one from left to right is the ground pin. The second pin is the VCC which we connect to the 5 volts pin on the Arduino board. Next is the VO pin on which we can attach a potentiometer for controlling the contrast of the display. Next comes the RS pin or register select pin which is used for selecting whether we will send commands or data to the LCD. For example, if the RS pin is set on a low state or zero volts, then we are sending commands to the LCD like set the cursor to a specific location, clear the display, turn off the display and so on. And if the RS pin is set on a high state or 5 volts, then we are sending data or characters to the LCD. Next comes the RW pin which uh, selects the mode whether we will read or write to the LCD. Here the write mode is uh, obvious and it is used for writing or sending commands and data to the LCD. The read mode is used by the LCD itself when executing the program which we don't have a need to discuss about it in uh, this tutorial. Next is the E-pin which enables the writing to the registers or the next 8 uh, data pins from DO to D7. So through these pins we are sending the 8 bits data when we are writing to the registers or for example if we want to see uh, the letter uppercase A on the display we will send 0100 0000 to the registers according to the ASCII table. And uh, the last two pins A and K or anode and cathode are for the LED backlight. Okay, so after all we don't have to worry much about how the LCD works as the liquid crystal library takes care of for almost everything. From the Arduino official website, you can find and see the functions of the library, which enable easy use of the LCD. We can use the library in a 4 or 8 bit mode. In this tutorial, we will use it in a 4 bit mode, or we will just use 4 of the 8 data pins. Before we write the code, uh, let's see the circuit schematic first. I will use an Arduino Mega board, 1K potentiometer and the LCD. So we will use just 6 digital input pins from the Arduino board. The LCD registers from uh, D4 to D7 will be connected to the Arduino's digital pins from 4 to 7. The enable pin will be connected to pin number 2 and the RS pin will be connected to pin number 1. The RW pin will be connected to ground and the VO pin will be connected to the potentiometer. Ok, so now we can write some code for the LCD. First thing we need to do is to include the liquid crystal library. We do it from here, sketch, uh, include library, liquid crystal, ok, uh, then we will uh, create a liquid crystal object, like this, I will name it LCD and as a parameters we will set the pins number on the Arduino respectively to the circuit schematic. So the first parameter is for the RS pin 
and as we connect it to the digital pin number one i will write here uh, one the second parameter is the enable pin and that one we connected to the digital pin number two on the arduino board and the next uh, the next parameters are for the registers so first is the for the register d4 and that's connected to pin number four then the d5 d6 and d7 so just like this okay uh, next is the setup where we will initialize the LCD and set dimensions so we do it like this LCD dot begin and set the dimension of the LCD 16 by 2 okay and now in the loop we will write our main program First, let's uh, print something on the LCD uh, using the print function like this lcd.print I will print Arduino and make a delay of 3 seconds so that we can notice it Okay. Uh, now using the set cursor function we can uh, change uh, the location on the display where the next text will be written so lcd dot uh, set cursor and the first uh, parameter is for the column and the second is for the row so I will change the cursor to the second uh, column and uh, first row so this actually will be the second row as the this number starts from zero so zero one that will be the second row and I will write something again using the print function I will write LCD tutorial. Okay. And I will set three seconds delay again. Okay, after these two texts, uh, we will clear the display using the clear function lcd.clear okay uh, now using the blink function we can set the blinking cursor like this lcd dot uh, blink I will add some delay so we can notice it I will uh, change again the location of the cursor so we can have a so we can see that blinking cursor on a different location like this and again some delay three seconds okay we can also turn off this uh, blinking cursor using the no blink function this will turn off the blinking cursor and we can also set a different cursor like underscore cursor using the lcd dot cursor function 
I will add some delay so we can notice it. And using the no cursor function, we can turn off the underscore cursor as well. Okay, and now we'll clear once again the display using the clear function. And that will be our main program, which will uh, repeat all the time. And now let's see uh, how it works. So here is the first text, and after some delay, the second text on a different location. Here's the blinking cursor, and again, after some delay, the blinking cursor on a different location, and the underscore cursor. It is also possible to write custom character to the LCD. It supports up to 8 characters of uh, 5 by 8 pixels. We specify the appearance of each custom character by an array of uh, 8 bytes. Okay, so for uh, that we have to define an array of bytes uh, like this. I will name it uh, slash as our custom character will uh, look like slash so here uh, this B stands for a binary formatter and the uh, five numbers are actually the pixels the five pixels and we need eight more of seven more of this so total eight so that we get that uh, format of uh, five by eight pixels Okay, and now what uh, we'll change uh, here from 0 to 1 that will create our custom character. So I will change, change it like this and that will uh, look as a slash. Now that one we have to uh, initialize or uh, create that custom character in the setup using the create car function like this and here we need two parameters two parameters the first parameter is uh, a number from 0 to 7 or we have to reserve one of the eight supported characters so here i will just type 7 and as a second parameter it goes the name of the array of bytes we defined above so that will be slash and in the loop we will write our main program I will make it look more interesting and make that character moves along the LCD so we will use a for loop for changing the location of the cursor so it will look like this Okay, that's the for loop and now using the set cursor function like this lcd dot set cursor and uh, here in the set cursor function we will use the i variable from the loop as a column parameter And now uh, we have to write that character so using the lcd dot uh, write we'll write the character we defined above so these two numbers have to be the same I'll make one second delay and uh, clear the display after each uh, iteration of the for loop okay that's our program let's see how it works here's our custom character moving along the columns of the LCD
Thanks for watching and for more tutorials visit my official website howtomechatronics.com.